I found a very accurate buy sell signal indicator on TradingView. Just look at the signals. Look at this buy signal. Perfect. Look at this strong buy signal here. Amazing advancing of the price. Look at this buy signal here. Excellent. Here. Look at this buy signal. Unbelievable. Look at the sell signal here. Good. Not bad. Another one here. Good. This one. Also a good signal. A buy signal here this one not good another buy signal here not good strong sell signal we got here and it was a wonderful sell signal this sell signal wonderful this buy signal here not bad still viable strong sell signal here amazing signal strong buy signal here perfect as you can see strong sell signal here incredible declining of the price down to this point look at this buy signal unbelievable advancing of the price as you can see this indicator is giving amazing buy sell signals just make sure you watch this video until the end because i'm going to teach you a very profitable trading strategy based on this indicator to add this indicator here you click on indicators and search smart forex buy sell signal by lucas this one which is written by someone named lucas cg94 if you noticed we had three types of signals strong signals which are the strongest one the green ones are buy signal and the red ones are sell signal we have uh, these sell and buy signals which are weaker one in compared to the strong signals and we have also another type of signals which are spec and they are the weakest one here in the settings of the indicator here in the style tab we remove spec buy and spec sell because they are the weakest signals in this indicator and the risk of taking them is very high all right now we only have strong signals and these buy sell signals which are actually weaker signals in compared to the strong signals for example these false signals that we had here are the weaker signals as you can see they can also provide good signals like the one that we had here but as i said they are less reliable and in compared to the strong one the degree of risk with them is higher taking these weaker signals depends on the degree of risk that you're willing to take and also your trading strategy i recommend you to stick with the strong signals so you can decrease your risk as much as possible in the trading strategy that i want to explain now we only use these strong signals so we go to the settings of the indicator and here in the style tab we remove buy signal and sell signal we also remove the bar color all right now we only have strong signals to filter the bad signals we add another indicator which is smoothed heikenoshi candles this one smoothed heikenoshi candles version one which is written by jack vmk all right this is the end indicator and if you know it it overlays Akenoshi candles to the price chart so we can better see the direction of the market without any noises and also it gives a better indication on the turning points of the market we need to change its settings here in the input step for both of the length we set them on three because we want to make it more sensitive to the price action we don't want to use it for identifying direction of the market but we want to use it for identifying potential turning points of the market that can further confirm our trading signals all right now when we have a buy signal the heikenoshi candle should be green and when we have a sell signal it should be red for example here you can see we have a strong buy signal and heikenoshi candle is green so we can enter a long position here as this new candle is opened the stop loss for this trade is placed below the previous swing low and as you can see the signal was extremely profitable where the price advanced up to this point moving back on the chart as you can see here we have another strong buy signal the heikenoshi candle is green so we can enter another long position here at this point where the new candle is opened and this trade is also a very profitable trade as you can see all right moving back on the chart no signal around here down to this point where we have a strong buy signal Akenoshi candle is green so we can enter a long position here at this point and this trade is also a very profitable trade as you can see before this trade we had a sell signal here and Akenoshi candle is red so we can enter a short position here as the new candle was opened the stop loss for this trade is placed above the previous swing high and this trade is also a profitable trade as you can see moving back on the chart no signal around here our strategy didn't provide any signal around here up to this point where we got a strong sell signal and as you can see the Heikenoshi candle is red so we can 
enter a short position here at this point where the new candle is opened stop loss for this trade is placed above the previous swing high and this trade is also extremely profitable trade as you can see where the price declined down to this point all right here for this strong buy signal i want to explain a point as you can see when we have this signal the heikyonoshi candle is red when you are in this situation you can show flexibility and wait for a one or two candles after that to see if you get green heikyonoshi candle or not in this case you can see we got the green in the next candle so you could enter a long position here at this point and as you can see this would also be a profitable trade but taking this decision totally depends on you if you don't want to take more risk you can reject these kinds of signals and only focus on the signals that heiken oshi candle instantly confirms the trade like here where we got a sell signal heiken oshi candle is red so we enter a short position here at this point where the new candle is opened and this trade is also extremely profitable trade as you can see where the price declined down to this point this is strategy that i explained as a scalping strategy right now we are on one minute time frame and you can use this strategy on one minute and five minutes time frame and please pay attention that in the settings of the indicator the time frame is set on one hour by default so if you want to use this indicator on time frames higher than one hour you must change it for example if you want to use this indicator on four hours time frame you must uh, set here four hours or on higher time frames for example one day time frame try to set the time frame of the indicator on a time frame higher than your chart time frame so many of the false signals will be removed in our case in this trading strategy we set the indicator time frame much higher than one minute time frame because as you know the noises on this time frame are very high so by doing this many of the false signals are removed and we can have more reliable signals as you have seen in this video another important point about this indicator is that it only works in forex market and only on forex major pairs because it only takes data from forex major pairs these buy sell signals are based on price action rsi and correlation between forex major pairs this indicator is one of the most accurate buy sell signal indicator on trading view and this one minute scalping strategy that i explained is very accurate and highly profitable but this doesn't mean it generates 100 percent guaranteed signals no indicator or strategy is capable of doing this and losing trades are always part of the game so you need to manage your risk properly there is a risk management strategy that is called one percent rule and it's a perfect choice for scalping strategies i have a complete guide on this the link is also placed in the description and i highly recommend you to watch it because without a proper risk management strategy you cannot become a successful trader all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading